Aloha! Welcome back to our space station. My name is Tiki C. For this video series, my goal is to convert at least 50 blueprints on the Steam Workshop for use in space. I'm looking for player-made space bases or capital vessels that I can convert into points of interest or orbital patrol vessels. These conversions could be derelict space stations, debris from space battles, or maybe hostile bases or ships that shoot at you. As of today, there are over 118,000 Steam Workshop blueprints for Empyrean. We need more POIs and ships in the game. Let's convert them. More conversions means more variety in the game, which means more fun for us. You may have noticed some new scenery. I am learning how to make a proper solar system and learning how to make a custom tech tree and custom icons and custom weapons and i'm also learning how to use unity to make custom objects in the game it's been a lot of fun it's been a great learning process anyways the updated conversion rules are right here so feel free to pause and take a look let's get started I have searched through the most popular blueprints of all time on the Steam Workshop, and I found some to convert today. Conversions are being done in a slightly modified vanilla creative game, so converted blueprints should be universally compatible with scenarios. You will see a time-lapse video as I take a quick tour of each, add or remove devices and blocks, add some damage or debris, save and celebrate. Today, our blueprints to convert are the Eris HC502 by Vandal. Vandal has some really cool builds. Love the custom color palette. We're going to convert this to an OPV and submit it to Elyon as an addition to the Warlord faction in the game. Next we have Outpost Omega. The original design is by Stellar Titan and this modification is by Jay Drafton. This is an amazing station with a bunch of custom LCD work and some beautiful block work and texturing. We're going to convert this to a POI with spawners and sentries and loot. This will be my first base submission to Elyon, so wish me luck. And it's Jet Week! We have a variety of jets on display from Jennifer and Lycanthrope, which I will be using during the conversion process today. Both of these artists have impressive catalogs. Check them out for your next playthrough. Links to all of these blueprints can be found in the description below. Thank you to all of the authors for their artistic works and their contributions to the community. A special thank you goes out to Elyon for the Empyrean Galactic Survival Game. And to all of the scenario designers and POI builders, thank you for creating new ways for all of us to enjoy this game. Are you ready? Here we go.
Okay, the Eris is converted. Another OPV finished. There is one thing that I have to check. I have to check with Elyon to see if these vertical shutters are allowed on thrusters. One of the rules is that the thrusters have to be open. I don't know if, if shutters are allowed. So I'm gonna check on that before I submit it just to verify. And if they're not, I'll take them off. And uh, yeah, this no problem. Otherwise, the story is that this was um, assaulted and commandeered by the warlords. They installed their own technology. There's spawners and sentries and treasure in here for the player to find. So I think this will be fun to, to find in game. So let's test it out on the server. All right, that tests out good. Aside from a weird gravity bug, it's got to fix a couple things, and then I can get this submitted to Elyon. Thank you, Vandal, for letting me convert this. Love the ship, love this design, great work. Next, let's convert Outpost Omega.
Okay, we're done converting Outpost Omega. Fantastic design. Love this. Great work, Stellar Titan. Great work, Jay Drafton. Fantastic. A lot of fun to convert. Okay, so uh, long story short, this one also was um, assaulted and commandeered by the Warlords. They installed their own uh, turrets, a uh, mix of laser and rocket. Uh, there were a whole bunch of furnaces, so I had to remove most of them except one just to get, um, get turrets pointing in most of the directions that it would be attacked by. So less furnaces, more turrets. Um, I also shaved off part of the solar array to get the panels down to the max in vanilla. Uh, what else? Oh, yes, the spawners in these sections were kind of fun because I can't... I can't have the spawn sensor extend outside the hull. So I had to have this sensor just extend down the hallway. And then I have another sensor tied to the spawner for this section right here. So I got the whole T in there. So that was, that was fun figuring that out. And then we got more spawners and sentries in this cargo area here. So the thought is the player would be coming in from one of these... Um, eight entrances I don't think oh there's two more entrances down there but anyways uh, I think this would be the main entrance and they would come up here have a fight um, there is the promenade with more spawners and sentries there's NPCs scattered around everywhere uh, what else uh, yeah there's a fun little uh, bar cafe area up here very cool design i love this is this would be also a fantastic trade station that's what i should do next i should make this into a trade station too anyways um give myself more work <laughs> this uh yeah lots of fantastic lcd work in here amazing amazing lcd work love it i gotta start using more lcd work jeez so yeah so all of the uh, lots of spawners and sentries there is some hidden treasure in here. Uh, I don't want to give too much of it away, but yeah, it should be fun for the player to assault and take over or uh, strip down for parts. The only thing that drove me up the wall is that I had to set the lock code for like a hundred different things to zero, 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 zero. So I had to go down all of these devices and, and set the lock code for uh, for that, for each one individually. So if there's a better way to do this, I am all ears. Uh, leave a comment below. Hopefully there's a command that says set all doors to zero, 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 something like that, but because individually hitting it was kind of annoying. Otherwise, I love this design. This was a fun conversion, so I will uh, test this out on the server and see what happens. Yeah, that's fun. I love that. So a couple things I got to tweak, some spawner uh, areas and some minor things. But otherwise, I think I can finish this up and get it submitted to Elyon. So we're done. I've converted two more for a total of 13 space blueprints converted. Thank you so much for joining me today. I look forward to talking to you again soon. Have a great day.